Welcome to this new video tutorial where I'm going to demonstrate how we can deploy our Python script as web application. So here we'll be deploying our Selenium automation uh, code in web application so that we can run it from browser or web application on the required basis. Uh, so this will be very helpful when we need to repeatedly execute our Python code and uh, once deployed in web application anyone can run this uh, script uh, from their browser and this uh, doesn't require any software installation or other uh, setup process and uh, for this we'll be using Python flags library for deploying the Python script as an web application and uh, even while uh, executing uh, this script from web, app, web application we can also send the required input parameter that is required in our uh, Python script uh, from web page UI form itself and uh, we'll also do that uh, too uh, so for that uh, first uh, we need a couple of uh, Python packages and uh, I'm going to install that package at the beginning so that uh, it will be easy for all of us uh, so f one package we need is uh, as I already said we'll be using the Python flax um, library so for this we need to install flax and once you search uh, flax in Python packages uh, from Python package tab it will uh, give us option to install the Python from here and if we if you do not have a Python package installation option in your uh, in your uh, G, in your UI or in your um, ID, then you can install it uh, from terminal using pip install uh, flex and so on. So one uh, of the packages is flex, and the next package we need uh, is Selenium. As we are going to run Python automation code here, so for this uh, we need Selenium installation. And uh, to uh, run web driver or to install this uh, uh, Chrome driver at the run run time uh, from uh, Selenium code, uh, we can we need to install web driver manager package here. Yeah, this is this one. So for this, uh, if we if you need to install this from the terminal, you can install pip install pip install web driver manager. So. Uh, this is all for now so we just uh, need these uh, three packages here and uh, from these three packages we need a couple of libraries and uh, to use that library uh, first uh, let's uh, I have already created this uh, project file so that uh, if you haven't uh, created one then you can uh, create a uh, uh, your project and in the project i'm going to create a new python file this is the python script uh, which will be uh, executed from uh, which will be executed as an web application and for this i'm going to give name is flax uh, selenium web app or you can give it your uh, relevant uh, python file name and yeah like i said earlier we will be using uh, web driver so from selenium import Uh, import web driver and uh, from selenium web driver dot common uh, dot by uh, we'll be using importing by this will be uh, used while uh, file executing xpath uh, from selenium code and uh, from selenium uh, from web driver manager from web driver manager uh, we'll be uh, importing chrome driver manager uh, so that uh, we can uh, download the Chrome driver while executing the code. So uh, we don't uh, we don't have to download it uh, from our browser and keep it in the project directory. It will dynamically or it will automatically download uh, Chrome driver during the project execution, so that we don't have to do that manually. And uh, from Flags library, uh, we need uh, to import uh, Flags and the next uh, render template. So the render template uh, library will be. Uh, used to keep our HTML uh, code uh, or HTML template uh, in our in our uh, flex app and the next is uh, request mm. and uh, the next uh, uh, we also nowadays we need to pass Chrome driver as a service object so that we need uh, to install from selenium uh, web driver that Chrome uh, sorry that uh, um, that service we need to import service so this is uh this is these are the required uh packages or library we need to install uh, uh or we need to import uh to run uh, 
our Selenium code or our automation code agent to deploy our automation code agent in Flagship. And uh, like I said already, uh, earlier, we are going to uh, deploy our app as in Flax. So for this, uh, Flax, this is the Flax mode. And uh, yeah, we will be running this from uh, namespace. So that's why I uh, give this uh, as a name. And we need to define the template. If we are going to use HTML template uh, from uh, Flax app, then we need to uh, define the template folder here. And if you do not have any uh, such uh, HTML template uh, where uh, where you need to pass input parameter or with, or if you do not need any HTML template, then you can ignore this part. So this is the uh, uh, declaration part. And yeah um, uh, first uh, we need to define the route and a couple of uh, if if we have a multiple route then you can uh, define them accordingly so the first route is uh, like a slash so the, it will indicate uh, like home page and while uh, opening the home page or while uh, while executing this uh, uh, path from web web uh, so now we need to define which uh, function or which function we need to execute and uh, we'll write index function here. Uh, so, and uh, this will be the code that will be executed uh, when uh, when we uh, provide slash from the web page or from, from the web URL or we do not provide any path at all. This is the default directory. And uh, for when, when we uh, execute the default directory, we'll be rendering, uh, we'll be rendering template uh, index.html and we'll write the HTML code letter. So this is the so when user write uh, when user opens the web URL first, then the index.html code will be executed. And the next uh, path we can define here is uh, app that route. So and uh, here uh, this is uh, like I say, <coughs> I write automation. So uh, when we uh, provide the path is automation, then these uh, uh, the, and then the function inside this app route will be executed. And uh, here uh, we can define uh, which methods will be used uh, in this function. So these are the um, methods. And uh, in methods. Uh, we can uh, define uh, the methods we we are going to use and like uh, they are uh, get and you know you may have you know main way about the get and post method so good uh, post method will be used when we pass any parameters while executing the code and yeah uh, inside this path when now when user uh, redirect to the automation path then we'll be executing uh, the automation code that's why i write this function as on automation and here uh, we can define which request we get so if request that method if the request method uh, is post then we'll be executing this code here Uh, here, uh, from the post method, we can, uh, like I said earlier, we can uh, take the user input parameter. So one of the parameter uh, we will uh, get from uh, the user uh, post method is a uh, source key, like uh, source key. Uh, so uh, I'm, I will be demonstrating how uh, we pass this source key from index.html. So for now, uh, let's suppose that uh, our uh, while uh, running this index.html will be, get uh, some uh, f some input form and that uh, that is uh, source key so sorry request uh, that form that get from the request form and this is the parameters uh, that we will be uh, sending from uh, html form so this is this should match uh, with the parameter name we have given in the uh, in our html code okay sorry Okay, uh, next thing uh, we need to write here is now, 
now from uh, when user redirects to, to this automation path, then we can uh, create one Selenium code or one automation code uh, and uh, which uh, we are going to call from this. And while executing this, uh, while the wrong, um, calling the that uh, function, Selenium code function, will be, uh, that will retain the title and you will understand what the title mean here and selenium code and uh, while running the selenium code the source key that we have uh, received from the user input form will be passed here and yeah and yeah this is all and after uh, like uh, executing this uh, all function and uh, if we if we if we want to return anything in the uh, in the uh, in user browser itself then we can write that here like a return title this is the response that user will get after sending this post request uh, after completion of this uh, execution then user will uh, user will receive the this uh, title response and uh, now in selenium code will uh, will define what that title mean so now uh, let's write that uh, selenium code you can write here uh, this selenium code and uh, as we already send the source key parameters here so it will be used here Okay, now we are going to write a couple of uh, Selenium code here. Uh, if if you have already those Selenium code uh, in some other place, then you can copy there, copy that here. And for uh, for uh, using the Chrome driver, we will be using Chrome driver as in service offset. And uh, the Chrome driver manager dot install uh, will install the required Chrome driver version uh, in your project uh, from your project. So if you uh, and it will first check your operating system and then um, it will also check uh, the uh, Chrome version that you have and then install the required version. And uh, next thing uh, we need to do is uh, first uh, let's define the driver variable. It will be the uh, Chrome driver. So first that for that let's say webdriver dot Chrome. And uh, now we are going to pass uh, service uh, this uh, service here. And uh, so these two line of code will instill the Chrome driver and launch one uh, Chrome uh, browser in your uh, machine. And um, after uh, launching that Chrome, we can driver dot maximize windows. So this will uh, uh, open Chrome driver uh, in full screen mode. And now we are going to uh, open any URL like uh, here driver dot get. I'm going to uh, use uh, https slash slash google dot com. This is the Selenium code. Uh, and yeah, now we are will be opening this uh, google.com uh, URL. And once we open the google.com URL, uh, we uh, now you will understand what the source key means. We'll write some source key in this uh, Google source bar and then click on the source button to uh, check if our automation code is uh, really working or not. So for that, uh, first you need to identify the Chrome driver. Uh, first you need to identify the source uh, button XPath. And uh, you can do that uh, from uh, like uh, from browser itself. Here, uh, if you go with uh, google.com, yeah, this is the source path. And the X path for this uh, search button is, I've already shown this in some other tutorial too. Here, uh, the name uh, attribute of this uh, Google search button is Q and it is on the input uh, tag name. So we can use that uh, to navigate this search bar. And to click on this uh, Google search button here, the name attribute is BTNK and it's also under the input tag name. So uh, these two are the X path we need uh, here. Uh, so now driver that we need to first uh, we'll be finding that element uh, Google search bar so by that we are using xpath that's why I write uh, xpath here and uh, the xpath is an input uh, tag name and this is the attribute name and the value of the attribute the name attribute is Q and as I have uh, used uh, double quotation outside this uh, then inside of my we can use the single quotation and this is the closing bracket for this uh, name attribute and this is the uh, whole x path and that in uh, google search x path we will be uh, sending some keys here 
and the key name uh, and uh, this is the source key um, or source value that we are going to enter in this form and here the source key is the one or like uh, if you need to write anything here like a uh, um, selenium or anything then you can write accordingly but now here we already have this source key parameter <coughs> <coughs> sorry and then uh, next uh, things we need to do here is uh, to uh, click on that um, search button or to submit uh, or to submit that button so for that uh, driver dot find element and uh, we can use by dot xpath same pattern and we need to write the xpath uh, so for that this is the input tag and and a name uh, name attribute the value of the name attribute is btn capital k and yeah uh, this is the closing bracket and uh, this is the uh, <coughs> search button and you can use uh, click or submit whatever uh, ox and uh, after doing this uh, the uh, the source key that we have uh, that we will get from the users uh, post request uh, will be used here and that will be written in that uh, google search bar even uh, you can also take this uh, url from user input itself uh, instead of writing it here so uh, so once we uh, once you create that html form and post request then you can send any number of parameters there and uh, first uh, as a uh, as we are going to show uh, title information uh, or we, we are going to return the title information once user send that post request they will get the response uh, title so that uh, that's why uh, from selenium code we'll be extracting the web browser title so driver that uh, title will um, give the user title uh, and then uh, driver that quit uh, sorry this will uh, quit the uh, chrome browser we have launched here and uh, after doing all this uh, the title that uh, we get from uh, driver the title will be returned to the user response so that's why we need to return it from here so the selenium code from here the selenium code uh, uh, from here the selenium code uh, function uh, will be called and uh, it will uh, take search key as in parameters and now uh, this is the definition for uh, uh, selenium code and it will retain the title so uh, after doing this uh, three operation so this is the selenium code so if you if you have any other selenium code or any automation code then you can put that under here and then uh, call uh, and then uh, request that or from this post request uh, so i think uh, we are at the end now and the next thing we need to do is uh, now uh, execute while executing this code from the namespace then we can uh, define how we are going to run this code uh, so for that uh, let's say name this is the uh, namespace main main namespace and yeah here now app.run command will run this code and yeah while running this code we can define the debug mode uh, whether it's true or not so if you said uh, debug is true then it's uh, it will be helpful uh, while debugging any issues so yeah mm, i think we so this is the um, main function from where uh, we'll be uh, running this uh, a, a as in a, this python script as in flax f this is the selenium code and uh, this is the uh, f uh from here we uh, like we call this selenium code and when we when user send the post request and we also take the uh, source key from the user post request from html form and uh, uh, this is the index.html that uh, that will be rendered uh, while you when users uh, first open this url or when they do not specify any path and this is the uh, uh, initial uh, flex initiation and uh, the template folder is inside template and now uh, the only things that remaining here is uh, to uh, is to create that uh, html uh, part html function that uh, that we'll be using here and to create that html function first uh, we need to create a template folder here template 
So this is the template folder where our index.html file will, will be present. And the uh, next index.html. So uh, this should match uh, the file name that we have given here and this uh, directory should be the template one. Uh, so since the we defined the template folder and uh, here is the template and in uh, indexed HTML we, you can uh, write any HTML like um, doc type HTML um, yeah and yeah we have a HTML here and head this is the you can copy it from your any um, online source too and this is the basic html uh, yeah my head uh, in heads adding section if you have anything then you can put that uh, there and in the body <coughs> uh, you will uh, uh, will create one form so for that you need to write form and the method uh, here we will be using the form is the post one like i already said and this is the post method we will be used and while uh, executing this post method uh, we can define which uh, path will be redirecting user so here uh, i'm going to write automation so this path should match the path we have uh, written here so that uh, user no, okay once users submit the form then they will be redirected to the automation path so that's why this code will be executed so this is the path right and now uh, inside the form first uh, we'll be uh, using uh, two input form uh, so one is uh, input uh, type uh, equals text type and yeah for this we can define id uh, equals source key this should uh, now name name equals uh, source key So this uh, name uh, should match with the uh, para parameters that we are uh, taking from the post request. So that's why uh, this should match uh, that name. And yeah, we can uh, add a here line break here. And the next, uh, I have added two break line. And then next input form, uh, next input uh, tag we'll have is for uh, that submit button. And it, it will be the submit uh, type so that uh, the text will uh, take uh, input value from the user and this will be the submit button. And uh, you can write a uh, value here. So this is the button name. And the name uh, for this button will be like you can say action. And uh, let's keep the closing tab, tag here. And uh, we can also, like uh, for this input text, uh, we can also keep the label for this input text so that a user will understand what uh, that uh, input uh, uh, field uh, does. So uh, here we can say label for, for which uh, name uh, this label is. So that's why this is for source key. So, and yeah. Here you can we can write the label. Uh, so use Google search value or key. And key. So this is the HTML form that uh, uh, that uh, that that we will be used. So while executing this code uh, and in the uh, like in the root directory, the index.html form uh, will be open, will be launched, and then uh, from this uh, HTML form, uh, yeah, we'll take the source key as and uh, we'll be sending the source key as a parameter. If it doesn't require any uh, parameter, then you can just uh, click on the submit button, and when user run the submit button, then the uh, automation code will be executed. So uh, so so that you can run it on your required basis. Uh, now uh, let's run this code yeah now it will give the uh, uh, local local host URL uh, for your web application once you deploy this as in uh, in any server then you will have like a uh, other name other valid URL so once you click on this uh, so uh, first uh, it uh, 
uh, execute that uh, index.html form and in index.html this is the label we have given for uh, this input box and the run automation is the button so here like uh, we can write any uh, source key here uh, I am going to source my channel here sign this in and once we click on this run automation now uh, it will execute the selenium code right it launches the chrome browser write the selenium we sign vision and then uh, the closes the browser so uh, and the yeah and it retains the sign vision google fuji it, this is the title that uh, that is written from our um, after executing the selenium code here uh, i have written the title so that's why it was uh, once the user uh, code completes or once the execution is complete then user will get that response uh, in their browser itself so that it will indicate the execution has been completed so uh, you can write uh, accordingly to write uh, uh, automation execution has been completed uh, with title this is the title we get okay so you can something written something like this too and uh, uh, also uh, you can add uh, some uh, uh, time delay here after uh, completing this uh, so time that sleep uh, yeah four this will uh, add four second delay after running this code and for this uh, sorry this is time and for this uh, you need to import time uh, now let's run this uh, code again to see if this response will be shown in the user browser or not and uh, yeah uh, i'm going to read on this uh, code yeah this is the source key mm, here we can write uh, selenium we can source any uh, key here and uh, once we click on the the, the chrome browser will be run uh, will be executed uh, and it uh, starts for the selenium key that the key we have sent in the input form it waits for four seconds and now closes the browser so and in the user response yeah here it is showing the response it will uh, show the browser title like here And uh, now uh, when we have to run this code again and again, again, we don't have to go with this uh, Selenium or PyCharm or anything. We can just uh, write, use this URL and click on the run automation button. And uh, yeah, when we per, if we need to execute this code again, then yeah, this is the uh, URL and then uh, run automation. It's now uh, the, our automation code will be executed based on this, uh, based on the uh, run automation button when user send this run automation button so you can utilize this concept uh, for your other automation uh, as well also you can use the same concept uh, when you you have to execute that code again and again so this is the um, code and if you need any support or if you face any error while executing this code uh, feel free to uh, add your comment or feel free to reach out to, to us and uh, if you also need uh, this code then uh, feel free to comment uh, so this is all uh, so yeah and uh, it's not just for uh, deploying this uh, selenium code you can use this concept to deploy any python script as an web application and you can also uh, host this web application in any um, server or yeah what you have so thank you for watching this uh, tutorial and watching this video and if you have any feedbacks or solution related to this uh, video tutorial then feel free to add that in the comment section. So thank you for watching. Thank you.